Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about Friday the 13th, the game, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, this is like my sixth attempt making this video. I've been having issues all night trying to make this video. It's about, what time is it right now? It's literally about 7.16. Uh, in the morning, I've been up for about a couple hours now, and I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can. And I've also made other videos that you guys are probably seeing, um, but this is the last video I'm making tonight. So I've made about four other YouTube videos that you guys are probably seeing already, but this is the last one that I'm making for tonight. I'm pretty tired, and I just want to make this video <laughs> and post it for tomorrow, um, or whenever I post this. When you get, whenever you guys are seeing this, but I want to be talking about Friday the 13th, the game, and the texas chainsaw massacre and some things that need to be implemented into that game okay and i'm talking about the texas chainsaw massacre these are things i wish to see at launch or either in a dlc update later on later on in the life cycle of the game but without further ado let's just jump right into it and i'm talking about single player challenges and offline bots now offline bots let's start out with it first pretty self-explanatory if you've ever played call of duty you know what uh the bots mode is on multiplayer it's for you to practice it's ai and you're not playing against real people but just ai and uh you're trying to just practice and and friday the 13th later did add this in a content update and I'm grateful they did because a lot of people can use this in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. And this is something that I want them to implement is for them to practice their skills, you know, to own their skills and practice. And that's something that I would like to see at launch. I think I think practicing and pretty much observing new strategies is a way to go in a especially in an asymmetrical online multiplayer game, learning new ways to kill, maybe learn new ways to understand and you know like just basically to get the mechanics because i know there's gonna be a lot of people at launch that don't understand the game and me included i would like to practice me especially trying to get owning my skills but that's just something that i would like to see and this could be pretty much used as side content i would love for them to use this as side content you know so if people are getting tired of the main uh game mode which is going to be online multiplayer I'm, I'm guessing you guys are gonna get tired of it so what i i mean i got pretty tired of friday the 13th after a while you know just playing and running around getting items you know i would love for them to spice things up here and for some side content you can go in, and play the offline bots and, you know practice see the maps and stuff like that i would love for that to happen and when it comes to single player challenges um pretty much what i'm talking about is it's like a campaign and basically you can play as any jason but the game mode does entitle you to play as a certain jason to play those uh objectives and own those objectives you do get rewarded with challenges or you get rewarded by completing challenges and uh, it's something really nice you know it's like like i said i mentioned already it's some pretty good side content i would love for them to implement this because there was certain kills in that game mode that were exclusive to that game mode and it was very cinematic if i'm being really honest with you guys and that's one thing that i really liked about single player challenges it was cinematic you're playing as jason killing these counselors and these counselors actually were voice acted in this game mode now mind you what i'm saying is that pretty much in you know the regular multiplayer for friday the 13th game they're like oh my god is that a dead body like yes for the millionth freaking time is that a dead body but no they actually had certain voice lines they brought back the original voice cast for that uh game mode and that's something that was really nice um original voice cast being the characters of uh, the counselors and pretty much just it's a great game mode i don't want to really say too much because i would like you guys to go play it yourselves it's not perfect but it is something for a site of content you guys can play it's, it's i wouldn't say it's a couple hours long it's probably like an hour or two long which is pretty disappointing but i mean mind you guys this is a indie game and uh you know they were pretty much confirming it like a year in advance and they finally released it and a lot of people were disappointed. Like I said, there's still a lot of good redeeming qualities of single player challenges. I very much entitle you guys to go play it, give it your own thoughts. Um, I'm not trying to hear, I'm not trying to sit here and banter over it because it's a good game mode, but I would like for them to improve on what they they started. Obviously use Friday the 13th the game as a template, you know, try to improve on what it accomplished and try to make it something better overall you know what i mean 
But other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much going to have to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys definitely did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.